welcome back to Supreme Salon. I am super excited about our next guests. We have Jordan and Katie here from The Real Beauty Bosses. Hi guys, how are you? What's up everybody? What's going on? We're doing good, how are you? We're good, we're good. Having a great first episode so far. Thank I know. you guys so much for earlier, joining us. Thank you. It's nice to hear from you guys. It's nice to be here on the, uh, the grand Supreme Salon launch. Yeah, thank you so much for coming. So why don't you guys tell me a little bit about yourselves and how you became the real beauty bosses? Okay. Very good question. I'll, I'll go ahead and start. Katie is looking at me. For the <laughs> there, Take it away. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, our, in short, our story, we basically um, quickly, we went to college, hope to get, you know, some resources, some education, some information on how to figure out how to live our life, how to make some money, how to figure out what we're going to do for our career. Right. And uh, we quickly realized that what we were doing was not really going to get us to where we wanted to be, which was to be able to support ourselves, our family, and our future. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we kind of got lost in our ways, you know, uh, working a lot of different jobs through our way in college, getting collaboratively $60,000 worth of debt, collaboratively going to college to learn right. how to better ourselves for the future. And we really just paid a bunch of money and got ourselves in a shit situation. <laughs> right, right. And, got into um, debt trying to learn how to make money. And yeah. got to... <laughs> Happens all the time. Yeah, exactly. 100%. And, um, you know, got into a rough situation situation uh, personally and uh, our you know real why and our real reason on why we work so hard is because um, you know when I was going to college um, I got really lost I got really confused and I didn't know what the heck I was doing with my life and um, you know I know Jay was talking about this earlier like it's it's easy to get like lost confused right. and not know what the you heck you're doing. You majored in recreation. Yeah it <laughs> happens right. But my grandparents basically raised me and uh, at this time that I was struggling in my life uh, I asked them for help and um, they did were going through some rough times times medically, financially, mentally, physically, a lot of different things happening in their life at the time that they told me that they couldn't help me. And I was basically pinned against the wall, had no idea what I was going to do to better myself or help myself. I was literally struggling in debt, struggling financially, struggling mentally, and um, had no help. So yeah. I got pinned against the wall. Right. When you're really struggling, it's usually a financial issue. And a lot of people shy away from that. They think it's like all these other different things. But usually if you get your money right, Right. It takes a lot of problems in yeah, your life, right? Absolutely. And no one wants to talk about that. And they think it's like greedy to want more money, but right. money can solve a lot of problems. It's true. Right? Um, basically, what started our whole journey was um, basically learning from people who were successful and who were achieving, you know, the financial, you know, freedom, income, um, success that we wanted to achieve. Right. And basically just, you know, following what they were doing and putting it inside of ourselves. So um, we went to a lot of, you know, seminars, podcasts, yeah. um, you know, absorbed ourselves with that type of information and just kind of went all in and said, hey, I'm sick of being broke. I'm going to do something about it. Absolutely. So that first business venture that we had kind of started was more along the lines of like selling products okay. online. Um, totally flopped. <laughs> to Failed. be expected. Miserably. Failed awful, flat on our faces, which is fine because, you know, you kind of have to have that first failing moment yeah. in order to kind of see somewhat of a proof of concept and think, okay, how do I make right. this work? So um, after that failed, we had found um, an additional kind of online coach mentor who was teaching us to do similar things, um, but with marketing for local businesses. And we were both very intrigued by that. It was something that we both kind of had an interest in. Right. Um, I was a marketing major in college. I wouldn't have picked that if I didn't have an interest in it. Um, and he was a business psychology major. So we both kind of had an interest in that field. Um, so it was a lot of money <laughs> to get started um, with this particular coach or mentor. Um, it was about a thousand dollar investment. And at the time, a thousand dollars seemed like. Right. A million bucks. It was like there's no yeah. way With 60 I can invest in debt, that. Like you're like thousand bucks to to learn something. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But um, Jordan kind of like took one for the team, took out a line of credit, um, yeah. and just said, you know, screw it, let's do it. Swiped the card. We jumped all in, um, and we did spend about like three to four months just totally absorbing this information, because you know there's something about spending another person's money and having another person trust you with that. Yeah. That's like, to me, it's like gut wrenching. Right. It's like, Oh my God, this has to work. Like I have to be perfect at this before I take money for it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of hairstylists can relate. Like the first time you touch a client's head of hair who pays you for it, it's right. like, oh, I hope I don't mess this yeah, up. Yeah. You know, one of the first people who actually said yes and took a chance on us was, um, a microblading artist named Kate, who was our first client ever. 
Um, and, you know, we said, we'll do this for you for free. We just kind of need a proof of concept that this works. We just ask you to, like, um, kind of spend whatever you're going to spend with Facebook in order to get the results, right. which we asked for $100 for that. And even then, like, when somebody has $100 on the line, it was like, oh, right. oh I hope this works, like, right? They better make their money back <laughs> at least. Exactly. Um, which she did tenfold. She wound yeah. up making $4,500 in appointments in three days. So one of the reasons why I was excited to have you guys on is because I'm an actual living, breathing client of yours. So I've been through the process with them. I'm part of their online university and um, I'm utilizing them for some of our marketing and our Facebook advertising and stuff like that. So tell me a little bit about what you do for your clients. Yeah, this first microblading specialist we work with, like, um, you know, I don't know if Carrie sh Katie shared yet, but she was an advertising major, was mm -hmm. struggling with, you know, she. She knew all the tips in the world about microblading. Yeah. She was like an expert because she had literally invested like $12,000 into her training. She figured it all out. Right. The strategy, the education, everything. Yeah. But she didn't know how to get the clients. Right. Yeah. right? And so the first thing we ran for her was uh, a simple advertising campaign, which basically just highlighted what she would do for the client. Um, and we actually ran a, a little giveaway um, for her, which was um, basically, hey, um, I'm offering you know a free microblading um, solution to one lucky person in the local area. If you want to be a part of it, um, go ahead and uh, click here and uh, enter your name, email, phone number, and uh, we will go ahead and enter you in the giveaway. And yeah. if you want an extra entry, um, what we would do is basically con collect that contact information on the front end, and then if they uh, wanted an extra entry, they could just share it on Facebook, and that would go out to their whole network, gotcha. which allowed actually this whole campaign to generate like 340 oh, plus leads yeah. in a whole basically week. basically went like viral yeah. right. in the local area. You have to put something right. sexy, habit-breaking in front of them that's going to really be almost like a pattern interrupt and think like, wow, like that's something my current stylist doesn't do that I might be interested in. Right. So, because we know we're great, and yeah. I know, like, yeah. I know all of my girls are great, but there's a salon on every corner. This is a super saturated industry right now. Yeah. Um, so you know, somebody searching salon near me, they're gonna have ten options versus you know, ten years ago they had two. Yeah. So you know, what is it that's gonna bring them in? And what is it that's going to set you apart? And it's really nothing I've found different than what you're doing if you are doing your job correctly. But it's just breaking it down to the client. Like, yeah. this is what all is going to happen from the time you park your car to the time you're driving home. Right. Exactly. Yeah. It's about putting it in front of them before you actually drop the price, which is literally a common problem that we've seen a lot yeah. of people do in the industry is, you know, someone will come to them, they'll ask, you know, how much for highlights? How much for an all over color? How much yeah. for this? And, you know, stylist, whoever will just say, oh, it's 150. Yeah. When do you want to book? And it's like, Y you what haven't actually told me like what yeah. in the world I'm getting for 150. Right. Like you didn't tell me I'm getting a consultation, a style consultation, a head massage at the bowl. You told me none of that. I yeah. just think you're gonna slap some bleach on my hair. Hope it turns out. Okay. Hope it turns out great. Send me home. Like you've told me nothing. Yeah. And then all I hear from stylists all day long is, oh, people are so cheap. I tell right. them 150, and you know they just ghost me. It's just because people are cheap these days. You have to be a salesperson in this industry. Yes. Right. Right. And like people just don't understand that, and no one teaches it, and it's the blind leading the blind, like we talk about all the time. Right. Which is like everyone's just saying like, hey, you know, you learn how to be the best at your services. You just tell people what you do, and they'll show up. Right. And that's it, right? Yeah. It doesn't work that way, right? Right. There's like a hundred exactly. million other options. You need to be a salesperson. You need to sell yourself, sell your services. And you need to market what the hell that is so people know what it is. Right. right? And if you think about it as a salon owner, as a renter, you yeah. are the one that's assigned the value to that service. Yeah. So it, you're really just saying, well, why? why did you assign that value? And right. then you're translating it into things that a client will understand. 100%. Exactly. The reason for that value cannot be because I'm worth it, right. because yeah. I'm charging my worth. Yeah. Right. We hear it all the time, and that is great. Yeah. And it yeah. is probably because you're worth it. Right. But the client doesn't know you from Adam. Right. So you've got to tell them why you're worth it. Right. Yeah. So that like sexy, eye-catching, habit-breaking, in-the-door offer, which we talk about all the time, um, let's talk. Let's like break that down. Like, what does that mean? Like, a sexy offer is something that's going to catch people's attention. Right. Um, you know, if you're putting out content, you're putting out an advertisement, something that's actually going to, you know, hook them. For us, um, we've gotten a few calls and texts that's like, they ask, "Is this a real salon?" Yeah. And I'm like, "Well, yeah. Here's our website." <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, yeah. I exist. And then here's my work. Because um, the offer like that you're giving them is like, right. it's so sexy, they, so eye-catching. It's eye too good to be true almost. Exactly. And so they're like, well, is this a real offer? Right. Like, like what's the real price going to be? I'm, and then I ask them a lot of follow-up questions because it depends what's going on in the chair. Right. Exactly. 100%. Um, and then... I think people also are like, I get a lot of people that are like, would you personally be doing it? I'm like, if you want. And they're yeah. like, really? I'm like, yeah, you can have me. Yeah. I'm not the best one here, but because I'm the owner, you think that. Like, yeah, yeah. I'll do your hair. <laughs> I, I may have to charge you more, but yes, <laughs> right. I, I can be the one to do it, right? Yeah, and so. there's nothing wrong with that. Like, no one cares at the end of the day about the price. Right. I think that's the biggest misconception in the industry is right. like, everyone thinks it's price. Like, let's keep charging the lowest so hopefully we can get a client in. right and that's not what we're trying to do like even when we're advertising even through we're putting out content we're creating this you know offer to get people in the door mm -hmm. it doesn't mean the price has to be the lowest right they just want their money's worth right. it means it's the value, value. Yeah. Yeah. It, the, yeah the value has to be high and then at the end of the day like you could be charging your full price appointment and creating an in-the-door offer that's sexy eye-catching and habit breaking which habit breaking means like what am I going to do like what am I going to get here that's going to be different from my current stylist yes. right it's going to make me break a habit and go to them versus who I'm going currently going to yeah. exactly right and so like you know if you have all those things lined up and the value is high enough it really doesn't matter what the price is you're getting that butt in the seat exactly and that's at the end of the day what it takes to grow a business right. is getting enough butts in your seats yes to have lifetime clients that are going to be for the long exactly. term. Exactly. Right? Absolutely. So like I think at the end of the day, like, um, you know, what we've done and what we're teaching and what we're, you know, pursuing all of our time, energy and effort into is like helping people figure out how do I get those butts in the seats? Mm -hmm. How do I figure out how to create that offer that makes me unique, makes me different, and figure out what niche I need to focus on or what type of person I need to focus on in my market that makes people want to come to me right. versus the 300 other people, the great clips, exactly. the you know, super cuts, the whatever yeah. you know, salon out there and come to me and then come in and get that amazing experience so that they stick for a lifetime. Absolutely. Because yeah. what's a lifetime customer worth to you? Uh, almost my left arm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, like, uh, how often do they come to see you? Like, every six weeks? Um, like it just depends. Now that hair painting and balayage is a thing, like, we love it, but also you don't see people as often. Yeah. Um, I mean, I have root retouch that's like every three weeks i used to have every one that was weeks. every two weeks she moved so like but every three not weeks, a gray hair what, could show there's like 52 know? weeks in a year yeah so this this three week client Let's that comes back every three math. weeks <laughs> like this is the thing so 52 divided by three this person comes through if you do good service yeah they're coming back 17 Point three 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 times yeah. a year <laughs> yeah so 17 times a year we'll just so that client's worth two thousand dollars two thousand forty dollars worth to you for the year right right and so i mean <laughs> if we have like 50 of those clients we have a hundred thousand dollar business right and that's not even talking about highlight services the more yeah. pricey services exactly so that's six figures yeah we need 50 of those clients right period right, right. and so like that's what people don't understand is like uh, most people just go in and like i'm gonna perform my service and figure it all out and yeah keep doing what i'm doing and they just end up in this circle of like ups and downs and ups mm -hmm. and downs and you know oh this month is just a slow month and oh i had right. a great month this month i made a couple thousand dollars yeah and the next month they're broke right you know and so like that's not a real business right and so what we're trying to bring to the industry is like how do you run a real freaking business yeah right? exactly like, and treat it like yeah. a business yeah not and like a solo service. commission rent that's a perfect future for you and right. how are you going to get there and it all comes down to numbers because numbers you know uh like people lie and numbers don't Right. Right. Numbers and can be very eye opening. It's true. One hundred percent. And so like the first thing we always talk about, you know, with anyone we work with is like, how do we get clear on the vision, the goals and the numbers? Yeah. Right. And so like we figure out like what's your monthly income goal like right now? Mm -hmm. So Stephanie, what's your monthly goal? for your salon right now. We need to bring in 24,000 a month. And that's also 000. not I it's not great, but it's not like crazy unrealistic. Well, I mean it's it's very interesting too like to anyone who's watching who may be, you know, a stylist who looks yeah. to who wants to shift to a salon owner right. like that's a big jump from like hey, 4,000 for me mm -hmm. will produce enough to the business to make it healthy. 24,000 for the right. whole business. Right. Like that's a, that's a big jump, And right? that's like just baby goal number 1. You have to get out of your fear and look at those numbers. And if you guys don't know where the hell we're pulling these numbers from, like yeah. maybe drop a comment and we'll get connected and we'll help you out. But yeah. um but yeah, that's that's the beginning. Vision, goal, 
and looking at the actual numbers. Yeah, exactly. Like, right. Right. Like numbers. How much money so per month, per day, all right. that stuff. And but a like, lot of this you guys go over. So like you're not just doing marketing and advertising for yeah. salons. So mm -hmm. a lot yeah. of this, all of this actually um, gets brought up and not only that you walk people through all of this in the online university so yes. do you want to talk about that a little bit the, the way I like to put it is it takes you from building the foundations of your business mm -hmm. all the way up until getting booked out a month in advance it right. can take you there so with the foundations of your business we go over the numbers getting set like what does your average day need to look like like yeah. what do your responsibilities need to be on a daily basis right to be like a kick-ass business owner mm -hmm. and then and moving forward from there, like, how do we even get started with, like, social media and online? Right. Like, where do I start with Facebook? Where do I start with Instagram? Like, what do I do here? And then also in-person networking. So that's kind of the things that I like to call, like, the free ways to grow your business. Yeah. Because you're not having you're to give. Excited. Yeah. So you're not having yeah. to give Mark Zuckerberg any money. Mm -hmm. You're able to grow your business and get a foundation. Right. Before having to yeah. reinvest. Yeah. And yeah. then we go into the paid on paid advertising stuff that we're doing with you right um kind of in the latter part of the course yeah. so it literally takes you from like ground zero all the way out to putting systems in place that book clients while you sleep right um so in a shotgun that's the university and yeah. i love it because it's given people the opportunity to come in get started and start making money right away right so we've had some clients come in who have literally gotten started and within the first two hours made over two thousand dollars wow which was so cool just utilizing what you guys are showing. exactly and I it's like, not that hard it's yeah. not and you guys do make, make it like very simple and i like that the modules are super short and to the point but they're all grouped into like categories so yeah. you yes. can watch all the modules in that one category and yeah. like take notes and and get going or if you, this is really foreign to you you can literally do one module a day yeah implement it once you feel like you got it and you're going to keep going with it yes. on to the next because yeah. we all learn differently oh, yeah. exactly um so yeah we were actually was just working i filmed like 11 videos mm -hmm. today yeah on like uh, what we're calling our module zero in the course which is just fast track things to do to like just get clients yeah. make money grow your business right now because it's and really i, I love that, that you guys constantly update too well, yeah, because yeah, like, always. I mean, you, just like you should be doing with your clients, and you probably do would do with your clients. Mm -hmm. Like the best thing you can do to really build the perfect business is like get feedback and figure out like you know throughout your processes, throughout your treatments, throughout right. your you know uh, your consultation, like what feedback you're getting and how can you make that better. Yeah, and exactly. that's like honestly like what we've tried to continue to do time after time to create you know the perfect program, the perfect product, the perfect service to create our perfect success path to get people from where they're at now to six to seven figures right yeah. so like that's what we've tried to do so we do that in a number of ways like um you know we do it through our course we have a coaching program and then we also do done for you services like we're doing with you right so it's all around getting clients awesome. making more money and moving towards those goals and you guys put out a lot of free education as well so yes. it gives people an opportunity to kind of get to know you yeah. and to see what you're doing how you teach um you interview a lot of people yeah um so let's talk about that and it's a face Facebook group um, completely yeah. free yes um, how can people find you if they want to learn more so we have our free Facebook group it is salon and beauty pro marketing education we do weekly live interviews in there from every corner of the industry yeah. business you building in there. Yep. yeah you've been in there it's the best one yeah. <laughs> it was pretty good we got I think over like a thousand plus views yeah oh really and it was like oh. when we were just getting started out yeah like, yeah it was like exactly. six to nine months ago but uh, yeah like we, we do interviews in there we do uh, weekly trainings in there yeah, so tons of free education yeah. so for anyone who doesn't really have the money to invest yet but wants to you know consume education to get started learning how to grow their business it's right. the perfect place to be um and then along with that we also have our free online training yeah. so at realbittybosses.com backslash free training we have an hour and a half training again just with the foundations yeah. of growing your business okay yeah. like they said join the facebook group or you can find their website it is realbeautybosses.com correct yeah, yes. realbeautybosses.com. And if you want to reach our free training, it's realbeautybosses.com backslash free training. Pretty There's literally easy to whole yeah. training <laughs> that walks you through how to get five to 10 clients every single week. Double your business and get as many people as you want reaching out to you. So absolutely. Um, if you want to reach us one on one too, it's realbeautybosses.com backslash book. Cool. Book a call with our team and see what we can do to help.